Hi everybody, here's another user request video, uh, in this case for a simple treasure chest, just or something like that to quickly pop into your game and get working. So we'll be making something like this real quick and simple in Pro Builder. So I'll take these and hide them and we'll start from scratch. So I'm using ProGrids at the moment just to keep things a little more exact. You definitely don't need to, uh, just something I like to do. So I'll start with a simple basic cube and just Pull the face out, make it about two meters by one meter, maybe a meter-ish tall, a little shorter, I think. So there's the base for the chest. And I'll hit Control D, let's copy that up, and start working on the upper portion, the lid. So this time, or for this, I'll turn off ProGrids, just so I can get it a little uh, smoothed a little more easily. And pull that face down, and then scale it in, and just get a pretty good guess at what's going to work well to make this look like a nice rounded hinge. So I'm holding shift and scaling, or sorry, moving it up to extrude and then scaling inward so I can get a pretty nice round across the top. Doesn't need to be perfect. So that's pretty good, it'll work for us. I can rotate it up and with the pivot right back there in the corner, it rotates nice and easily. Then we'll take this inside face and scale inward, so I'm holding shift, scaling in on the y-axis, and then not holding shift, pulling that same face inward on the x-axis. Then I'm going to hold shift and pull it inward, again extruding inward, and then just use the regular scale and make that a little more interesting on the inside here, maybe even more like that. So there's our top, the lid that is, and we'll add some extra detail, of course, an inside to the, uh, the main area. Select that top face, hold shift, and scale it inward about as much as the top lid. I could probably turn back on ProGrids here and be more exact with it, but it doesn't actually matter. So I won't, um, just to keep things simple. So there's uh, just a quick inset there. Pull that down, again, just holding shift to extrude it inward. And we have the basics. You could stop here if you want, I'll go a little further and add some quick detail to this. So I'll select all these sides. I'll make sure that extrude as group is turned off, and then I'm going to hold shift and extrude on the y-axis to pull that down. And because I have group turned off, all of these faces are separate. So now I can grab each one and just real quick pull it in like this. Oops, wrong direction. This right here actually is telling me we really need to add a simple uh, inset function in addition to the regular extrude so that you can just do that by typing a number, hit a button, it'll be done. Kind of like with extrude right now, you can just hit it, uh, hit the button and it does by an exact amount there. So we'll probably add that in the future because obviously that would be very useful. So we'll select each of these faces again and then just, in this case, we'll use that give it a negative value and hit extrude and they'll all pop inward that exact amount. So that takes care of that nice and quickly. Uh, one extra addition we could add here, I'll select one of these edges and hit Alt U and then I can add that quick and simple extra loop to give it just a bit more detail here. And we're done. So that's pretty good. You could do even a little more with this if you really wanted to. Um, for example, if you're using um, ProBlair Advanced, you can grab all these top faces. Alt-G is great. You can just use that to, as I did there, quickly select all faces that uh, are within a certain angle uh, or turn that off and it just goes outward in the selection. We'll keep it on, grow the selection, and just, uh, let's see, set a smoothing. Oops, not for text colors. There we go. Make sure those are all smooth together, and then I can also use the UV editor and make these all go across to one. Looks a bit better that way. So there we have it, nice and simple. Um, I guess let's add some textures to this also. Just for fun, I'm going to grab actually all of these and I have a simple metal texture set up already in my material palette, so I can just hit Alt-4 and it will apply. And then I'm going to grab all of the panels that I think ought to be wood. 
and hit Alt three, I think. Yep. Oops. Got a couple panels. And drop that on. So there, a bit more detail. All done, all set, quick and simple, easy to prototype with. I uh, hope that helps people. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and of course, as usual, take it further than this if you like. Real simple, quick and easy. So thanks for watching.